We are I. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas all kind of batched into one. Now, being January 2nd, you know, I look forward to this 2024 this year ahead because it feels like there's a lot of a lot of good irons in the fire right now. And this is something that I try to do with my life is have as many irons in the fire as possible. I think that anybody who knows me, maybe anybody who listens to this podcast knows that that definitely is true. There's always multiple different angles the way that I'm trying to approach life. But I feel like those those angles and those pathways are starting to narrow themselves down into a very specific a very specific path. And on that path there's multiple irons that need to be in the fire but I'm there now. And this is the why I'm so excited for 2024 because it feels like a lot of you know, the things of the last five years, the rust is really starting to be shaken off them. You know, like those irons are ready to be used. They've been in the fire long enough that they're that glowing yellowy red. They're ready to be used. Like the the divorce is shaken off. The, you know, COVID bullshit's been shaken off. That, you know, even with inflation and interest rates being high, I found a way to be able to navigate that. You know, and it feels good. It feels good to be in an arena where, you know, moving forward speaks of success. And defining, defining in a way that I've always defined success for me is not necessarily monetarily the only, or it's not, money's not the only way that I define success. And a major way that I define success is the people that I keep around me and the impact I'm going to have in my immediate community. Because the one thing that I was talking about with Andreas yesterday, or actually it was the day before, New Year's Eve, you know, a guy that I come to meet when I first met him two years ago, he was in Finland, you know, and then he moved to Cyprus, you know, living in the Mediterranean, and now he's in Costa Rica. And the one thing that I was saying to him is that the more that we try to influence the world, the more that we want to be, you know, air quotes, famous globally, I think the more we forget about our community. You know, people used to just be, you know, air quotes, famous with inside their community and not fame in the way that you may, that you may be thinking about it right now. You know, but you would walk down the street and people would know you. You know, if you were the doctor, if you were the pharmacist, if you were the gas station owner, if you were the, you know, building supply store owner, if you were the teachers, because there's few, if you were, you know, the name it, people knew your family name, this made you famous with inside your community. And that meant something. So you acted differently. But digital online global fame is something totally different. It's a totally different beast because it may come with the notoriety, but it doesn't come with the morals and the ethics and the respect. Nor does it help people as much. I think when you became famous with inside your community, and again, air quotes famous, when you became famous locally, municipally, you know, within your maybe 100 kilometers, when that happened, You acted differently because the impact it had on your community is great. You could see the people when people come up to you and you know, you can just be an asshole because you know, your fame, it, it relied upon them. It allowed people to be a little bit more open-minded because you had to, to be able to achieve that fame, you needed to be able to talk to both sides of the aisle, the liberals, the conservatives, the Democrats, the Republicans, the libertarians and, you know, both sides of that, that borderline. You needed to sway the opinion of both. So like you needed to be a lot more neutral to be able to carry this municipal fame because the, there wasn't just enough of your party 
to make you infamous in any kind of way. And the most successful people had respect of both sides. But this also brought both sides closer to center. So you had more people living in that center, not in the hyperpolarization, because you had to, because you had to face these people all the time. And you needed to do it in a respectful manner, respectful debate, because you had to run into these people and their families and their social networks. You had to do that. That was a real part of life. That was a real part of life until social media. That's a real part of life until about a decade ago. You know, but now that that municipal fame, it means something different. You don't have that. People are not, you know, operating with the same morals and ethics at all. So again, this is what success means to me, is operating at a municipal level where I can walk through my community and I can help pull people back to the center. I can help people in my community where I'm walking down the street and they know that if they need help, they, they can come to me because I have resources that I've accumulated because I have people in my life that also want to help. They're willing to be able to do this because how many times do you know people that need help that say that I, I just didn't want to ask. I didn't want to be a burden. It's like, why don't we stop looking at it being as a burden and just saying like, Hey, I know people in my life that can help me. But what I have to do is when it's my turn to help, I need to have a useful skill in my life to be able to help other people. I need to have a useful skill of, in my life that allows other people to call upon me so I have an opportunity to be able to step up. Sometimes this is just manpower. Making your physical self Enough of an asset that if somebody needs help moving, if somebody needs help X, Y, Z, they have the physical strength just to be able to do it. They can take this one step further and become educated in a topic where people can call upon you to help educate them. You know, enough skills and resources that if somebody needs something, you can do X, Y, Z for them in X, Y, Z capacity. So we become stronger municipally, not not stronger globally. Stronger globally does not help. It's not helping anybody. It's not helping in any kind of way. We need to be stronger municipally. You know, in that old, you know, whether it's just the army or the, you know, military, the Marines, <laughs> whether it's the Navy Seals, whatever. But not leaving a man behind. No man left behind. But if we look at this, there's no child left behind. This is my my motto for 2024 and the things that I'm trying to accomplish that in my mind will make me successful. No child left behind. Giving children opportunity. Children should not be left behind. Children should have an abundance of opportunity. They absolutely should. They should have an absolute abundance of opportunity. Why wouldn't they? If you want to talk about success and if you want to talk about how we become successful globally, you need to be successful municipally. And this is making sure that our children have ample opportunity. Being a conduit that children have opportunity. This is what we need. This is my focus. And the best part about this is this, my, this is the focus of a lot of people who are around me. These are the assets and resources that I've collected around me. These people have the opportunity, the real opportunity to shape and mold this community locally, municipally. So I can walk around the community that I live in and I can see symbols of prosperity for the children who need it the most. Because I want them to carry the torch forward. I want them to be able to move forward in this life. And in my mind, I have a clear vision mapped out of exactly how I want to do that. So, what are your goals for 2024? Everybody always talks about this at this time of year. What are they? You know, and I came across this quote that I posted on Instagram today. A couple of days ago, but I wanted to let it marinate. I wanted to savor it for me with just for myself for a bit. But this quote says, and this is where I'm going to end this off today because I want you to think about this. 
I want you to reflect upon this, what this actually means. Success is rented and the payment is due every day.